Hello everyone, today we are going to compute this integral using integration by parts. It's not something that we usually see because it's a product of a log function and a rational function. So, how do we choose u and how do we choose dv? Let's find out. We can use the tabular method of integration by parts. First column, we put a plus here, representing positive 1. For the u, we should put the ln function, and for the dv, we put the rational function. We can easily verify that when multiplying everything in this row, we will get the original integrand. Okay, now we can go down the columns. For this first column, the signs will alternate. So we get a minus sign here. Then taking the derivative of ln x, we get 1 over x. Next, integrating 1 over the cube of x minus 2, we get negative 1 half times 1 over the square of x minus 2. So multiplying everything in this row, we get this integral. Now, the question is, can we integrate this integral? You sure? How do we integrate it? OK, partial fraction decomposition. Good. But first, let's write down our answer from the table. Putting the arrows, we are ready to write down what our integral is equal to. So it is equal to ln of x times this, and then plus this integral. We can now integrate this by partial fraction decomposition. The factor 2x is linear, so we get a over 2x. The x minus 2 squared is a repeated linear factor, so we write this. We can then multiply the whole equation by the LCD 2x times x minus 2 squared. Canceling the denominators, we can get 1 on the left-hand side of the equation equals a times the factor that doesn't get canceled, x minus 2 squared, then plus b times 2x times x minus 2 and plus c times 2x. Okay, to find the constants a, b, and c, we can choose some values and plug into x. We can let x be 0. Then the terms with b and c will become 0, meaning that the equation has only a as the unknown. And we get for a equals 1. So a equals 1 fourth. Then let x be 2, which will make the terms with a and b disappear. So 4c is equal to 1 gives c equals 1 fourth. We can also let x be 1 and substitute 1 fourth into a and c. After a little bit of calculation, we get b equals negative 1 over 8. So we figure out all three constants. Coming back to this main problem, we can rewrite this integral using the decomposition. Substituting a, b, and c into the integrals, we can start integrating. We can first pull out the constants then integrate each one, and we have the final answer. So that's it for this problem. Here are some videos to watch next. Please subscribe and give me a like to show your support. Thank you. I will see you next time.